The prospect of the Philippines closing the Chinese embassy is not just sobering news. It is a storm brewing on the horizon of international relations. Such a significant diplomatic move can stem only from profound concerns, often hinting at a deeper cauldron of issues boiling beneath the surface. At first glance, the embassy, a bastion of diplomacy, might seem an unlikely epicenter for contention. However, the crux of the matter lies not in the functions it is supposed to serve, but in the alleged malign activities linked to its presence. From unregulated gambling syndicates to harrowing tales of human trafficking, each allegation is a thread in a complex web of socio-economic and political implications. What unfolds is a narrative that transcends diplomatic niceties, posing an urgent question. Could the shutting down of the Chinese embassy serve as a corrective measure to ongoing illicit activities, thereby safeguarding the sovereign rights and welfare of the Philippine populace? As this essay curls through the dense underbrush of accusations and counter-narratives, it aims to lay bare the multifaceted impacts of the embassy's operations. Far from a unilateral exploration, this analysis seeks to balance perspectives, offering a rounded reflection on an issue that shakes the core of Philippine society and its external relations. Diplomatic relations are built on the bedrock of mutual respect and the sanctity of national sovereignty. Embassies traditionally are hubs of diplomatic activity, purported to foster bilateral ties and ensure smooth interactions between nations. The Chinese embassy in the Philippines is no exception, or at least it shouldn't be. Yet, allegations of illicit activities stemming from its gates paint a grim picture, suggesting that its presence could potentially threaten the very sovereignty it is meant to respect. This imposing structure, a facade for fostering friendship, is now under scrutiny emblematic of a larger crisis of trust. The allegations suggest an abuse of diplomatic privileges, turning a sanctuary of peace into a center for covert operations that undermine Philippine law and welfare. In understanding the sharp turn towards considering the closure of an embassy, one must first comprehend the sacred principle of sovereignty. It's about control over one's affairs without external coercion a principle seemingly jeopardized by the reported activities linked to the Chinese embassy. Embassies have long stood as symbols and instruments of international diplomacy. Their fundamental roles encompass everything from consular services and cultural exchange to crucial negotiations on trade and security. However, when these institutions are accused of participating in or even facilitating illegal activities, the ripple effects can destabilize foundational aspects of bilateral relations. The role of the Chinese embassy in alleged illegal operations in the Philippines not only disrupts conventional diplomatic functions, but also introduces a complex layer of mistrust between the two nations. These activities raise questions about the real intentions behind diplomatic postings and whether these missions are serving their countries or undermining their hosts. The reports of illicit activities associated with the embassy, ranging from harboring cybercrime networks to facilitating large-scale human trafficking operations, skew the expected narrative of diplomatic engagement towards a darker, more troubling discourse. In the larger scheme of bilateral relations, such disruptions can lead to increased scrutiny and potential retaliatory measures, affecting everything from trade negotiations to cultural exchanges. Understanding this dynamic is crucial in evaluating the comprehensive implications of maintaining or severing diplomatic ties under strained circumstances. the dark alleys of gambling economic gains versus social losses. The proliferation of illegal gambling operations linked to the Chinese embassy in the Philippines paints a troubling picture of exploitation under the guise of economic opportunity. While proponents argue that these activities generate significant revenue and create jobs, the reality is often starkly different. 
Illegal gambling, particularly when tied to diplomatic entities, can foster environments ripe for corruption, lawlessness, and social degradation. This image captures the shadowy reality of underground gambling dens that have proliferated under the protective umbrella of diplomatic immunity. Here, the stakes are high, not just in terms of money, but in the very fabric of societal norms and law and order. The economic argument for tolerating such activities crumbles when weighed against the social costs. These include increased crime rates, financial ruin for families, and a general deterioration of community standards. Furthermore, the involvement of the embassy complicates enforcement efforts, as diplomatic norms and legal protections create barriers to straightforward policing and prosecution. The challenge for the Philippines is not just to curb these activities, but to do so in a manner that respects diplomatic protocols while asserting its sovereign laws, a delicate balancing act fraught with both risks and necessary resolutions. Human trafficking and labor violations present perhaps some of the most horrifying ethical and humanitarian issues linked to the operations surrounding the Chinese embassy. The Philippines, with its significant migrant worker population, is particularly vulnerable to these practices, which often promise high wages and stable employment, but deliver conditions akin to modern slavery. This harrowing image reveals the cramped and inhumane conditions under which trafficked workers are often forced to live, hidden away from the public eye, but in plain sight of those who choose to ignore. The exploitation of workers not only violates basic human rights, but also tarnishes the ethical responsibilities of nations and their diplomatic missions. For the Philippines, these issues are doubly impactful, affecting both its citizens at home and its image abroad. The alleged involvement of the embassy only deepens the crisis, implicating diplomatic entities in activities that starkly contradict their supposed roles. Addressing these violations requires concerted efforts from both national governments and international bodies. It also places a spotlight on the need for stringent oversight mechanisms that can preempt, identify, and rectify such abuses promptly and effectively. Cybercrime is an increasingly prevalent issue, with the Philippines becoming a notable battleground. Allegations that the Chinese embassy has played a role in either directly engaging in or facilitating cybercriminal activities add a layer of complexity to an already intricate problem. These activities range from financial frauds to espionage and pose significant national security threats. This diagram illustrates the suspected networks and flows of information and money, highlighting the sophisticated nature of these operations and the challenge they present to law enforcement. The digital realm offers anonymity and a vast operational space for criminals, making it an ideal avenue for covert activities under diplomatic cover. For the Philippines, combating these threats is not merely about law enforcement, but also about safeguarding national security and economic stability. The involvement of the embassy complicates matters, as it challenges traditional diplomatic norms and necessitates a re-evaluation of how nations interact in the digital age. This scenario demands enhanced cyber defenses, international cooperation, and a firm stance on the misuse of diplomatic privileges for cyber criminal activities. The illegal drug trade is a scourge that undermines public health, security, and the moral fabric of society. In the Philippines, where the war against drugs has been both controversial and bloody, the stakes are particularly high. Reports implicating the Chinese embassy in the facilitation or tolerance of drug trafficking activities have ignited fierce debates about the role of international diplomacy in combating or contributing to this crisis. This chilling array of drugs represents just a fraction of the illegal narcotics that slip through the cracks of regular law enforcement, purportedly with connections reaching high places, including, allegedly, diplomatic missions. The implications of such involvement are profound. 
they not only hinder the local fight against drug trafficking, but also risk the lives of thousands who fall victim to addiction and violence associated with this dark trade. For the Philippine government, these allegations necessitate a hard look at how diplomatic entities can be held accountable under both local and international law, without breaching diplomatic protocols, but also without compromising on national security. The challenge lies in balancing diplomatic immunity, which is critical for international relations, with the imperative to uphold justice and protect citizens from the harms of illegal drug trafficking. This balance is delicate and fraught with legal and ethical complexities, making the path forward difficult but necessary. Bribery and corruption are cancers that eat away at the trust between the government and its people, and they can be especially pernicious when they involve foreign diplomatic entities. The allegations that the Chinese embassy has been a participant or an enabler in such practices have serious implications for the integrity of Philippine governance and its international relations. This document, though partially redacted, points to suspicious financial transactions that hint at bribery. Such paperwork, if authenticated, could be damning evidence of corruption facilitated or ignored by those in significant diplomatic positions. The problem of corruption, particularly in dealings tied to the embassy, is twofold. Firstly, it undermines the democratic processes and the rule of law in the Philippines. Secondly, it casts a long shadow on the bilateral relations between China and the Philippines, straining diplomatic interactions and cooperation. For the Philippine government, tackling this issue head-on is crucial, requiring transparency, strict enforcement of anti-corruption laws, and international collaboration to ensure that those responsible are held accountable. Moreover, it demands a re-evaluation of how diplomatic immunities are interpreted and applied, ensuring they do not become shields for corrupt practices. Environmental crimes may not always grab headlines with the immediacy of other illicit activities, but their impact is profound and long-lasting. Accusations that the Chinese embassy has been indirectly involved in or turned a blind eye to such crimes in the Philippines paint a troubling picture of neglect and irresponsibility. This photograph shows a once lush forest, now cleared and hollowed out for mining operations. Reports indicate that some of these activities have ties to Chinese businesses allegedly operating under the protective wing of diplomatic assurances. The environmental degradation associated with these operations includes deforestation, pollution and biodiversity loss, each carrying significant consequences for local communities and the national ecology. The involvement of a foreign embassy in such issues complicates enforcement and regulatory measures, often leaving the government grappling with how to uphold environmental laws without sparking diplomatic tensions. The Philippine government's response to these challenges is critical and needs to balance environmental stewardship with diplomatic engagement. This requires robust environmental laws, strict regulatory frameworks, and international cooperation to ensure that diplomatic relations do not become a backdoor to environmental exploitation. The Philippine government's response to the myriad issues surrounding the Chinese embassy has been a mix of diplomatic caution and proactive law enforcement. The measures taken range from quiet diplomatic talks to public crackdowns on illegal activities allegedly linked to the embassy. This dynamic image captures a moment during a raid, showcasing the serious approach of local law enforcement in tackling crimes connected to foreign diplomatic entities. The effectiveness of these measures, however, remains a subject of debate. While some actions have led to the disruption of illegal networks and operations, others have been criticized for either their heavy-handedness or their lack of depth in addressing the root causes of the problems. For the Philippine government, the challenge is to maintain a delicate balance between assertive law enforcement and diplomatic sensitivity. Ensuring that actions taken are both effective and respectful of international protocols. This balancing act is crucial not only for resolving current issues, 
but also for setting a precedent in how such sensitive situations are handled in the future. Chinese counter moves reactions and ramifications. The response from the Chinese side to the allegations and actions taken by the Philippine government has been varied, ranging from outright denial to calls for mutual respect and cooperation. The Chinese government's stance and actions are pivotal as they not only affect bilateral relations, but also influence the regional and international perception of the situation. In this image, the Chinese ambassador addresses the media emphasizing the need for dialogue and cooperation while dismissing allegations as misunderstandings or isolated incidents. The ramifications of these counter moves are significant. They have the potential to either smooth over tensions or exacerbate them, depending on the transparency and sincerity of the engagements. For the Philippines, navigating these responses requires diplomatic skill and a clear strategy to ensure that its national interests are not overshadowed by the need to maintain cordial international relations. This dynamic interplay of actions and reactions highlights the complex nature of international diplomacy, where every move and counter move must be carefully considered to avoid unintended consequences. The local impact of the issues surrounding the Chinese embassy extends beyond diplomatic circles and into the lives of ordinary Filipino citizens. The alleged illegal activities and their fallout affect communities, altering the social and economic landscape in ways that can be profound and sometimes devastating. In this community gathering, local residents express their concerns and discuss the broader implications of having such a powerful foreign presence embroiled in controversy. The voices of these communities are crucial in shaping the narrative and the response to the embassy's activities. Their first-hand experiences with the negative impacts of illegal gambling, human trafficking, and other crimes provide valuable insights that can guide governmental strategies and interventions. For the Philippine government, engaging with these local voices is not just beneficial, but necessary. It ensures that the measures taken are grounded in the reality of those most affected and that the solutions devised are both comprehensive and practical. The inclusion of community perspectives enriches the discourse, providing a more nuanced understanding of the impact of foreign diplomatic entities on local lives and livelihoods. The international community's reaction to the unfolding events in the Philippines provides a broader context in which these issues are viewed and understood. The global dimension of the reactions, whether from neighboring Southeast Asian countries, Western nations or international bodies, shapes the diplomatic landscape and influences the strategic decisions of the Philippine government. This gathering of Southeast Asian leaders with the issue of diplomatic integrity on the agenda underscores the regional implications of the situation in the Philippines. The international echoes of the Philippines' handling of the embassy issues can either bolster or undermine its position. Support from international partners can lend credibility and strength to its actions, while criticism may compel a reassessment or a softening of its approach. Navigating these international waters requires astute diplomacy and a clear articulation of the Philippines' stance and intentions. The global reaction is not just a backdrop, but a dynamic and influential component of how the situation unfolds and is resolved. The economic implications of any decision regarding the Chinese embassy are vast, affecting trade, investment, tourism and overall economic relations between China and the Philippines. The interdependence of their economies makes the stakes particularly high, with potential repercussions extending beyond the immediate issues at hand. This graph illustrates the significant trade relationship between the two nations, highlighting the potential economic impact of diplomatic tensions. Decisions made in the context of addressing the alleged illegal activities linked to the embassy 
must consider these economic factors. While the integrity and security of the Philippine nation are paramount, the economic consequences of strained relations need careful management to avoid severe economic disruptions. The challenge for the Philippine government lies in striking a balance between upholding its national and legal interests and maintaining a healthy economic relationship with China. This balancing act is crucial for ensuring that the economic well-being of the country is not jeopardized in the pursuit of justice and security. The legal considerations involved in closing an embassy are complex and multifaceted. International law, national legislation, and diplomatic protocols all come into play, creating a labyrinthine legal landscape that must be navigated with care and expertise. In this public forum, legal scholars and experts debate the ramifications and legal frameworks surrounding the closure of a foreign embassy, providing clarity on a highly technical and critical aspect of the issue. The legal viability of such a drastic step involves not only the justifications for closure, but also the procedures and consequences that follow. It requires a solid legal foundation to withstand international scrutiny and potential legal challenges. For the Philippine government, understanding and adhering to these legal parameters is essential for ensuring that any action taken is defensible, both at home and abroad. This legal grounding also serves to reassure the international community that the actions are justified and in line with international norms and standards. Historical precedents of embassy closures provide valuable lessons and insights into the potential pathways and pitfalls of such a decision. Analyzing these cases can offer guidance on what to expect and how to prepare for the diplomatic, legal and practical challenges that such a move entails. This timeline details various instances where countries have closed embassies, each with its own context and outcomes, providing a comparative perspective that enriches the decision-making process. The protocols for closing an embassy are guided by international law, particularly the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, which outlines the rules for diplomatic interactions and premises. Understanding these protocols and the historical context in which they have been applied or challenged helps in crafting a well-informed strategy that respects international norms while addressing national concerns. For the Philippines, drawing on these historical precedents and adhering to established protocols is crucial for navigating the complex interplay of international law, diplomacy and national sovereignty. Before taking the drastic measure of closing an embassy, there are several diplomatic avenues that can be explored. These alternatives, which include negotiations, sanctions, and increased regulatory oversight, offer potential solutions that might address the underlying issues without severing diplomatic ties completely. This photograph captures a tense yet crucial moment of negotiations between Philippine and Chinese diplomats, highlighting the importance of dialogue in resolving complex international issues. These diplomatic tools serve as intermediate steps that can potentially de-escalate tensions and provide a platform for mutual understanding and cooperation. They allow for issues to be addressed directly and constructively, reducing the likelihood of misunderstandings and fostering a cooperative rather than confrontational atmosphere. For the Philippine government, employing these diplomatic strategies not only showcases a commitment to peaceful resolution, but also preserves important economic and cultural ties, which could be crucial for future interactions. Public sentiment and media narratives play a significant role in shaping the discourse surrounding the Chinese embassy and its alleged activities. The perception and opinions of the Filipino public can influence government policies and the approach to international relations. In this broadcast, a prominent news anchor discusses the latest developments in the embassy saga, illustrating the role of media in informing and influencing public opinion.
Understanding and engaging with public sentiment is crucial for the Philippine government. It ensures that the actions taken are not only legally and diplomatically sound, but also resonate with the values and expectations of its citizens. Additionally, managing media narratives is essential to maintain a balanced and informed public discourse, preventing misinformation and helping to unite the public on critical national issues. The interplay between public sentiment, media coverage and government action is a dynamic and influential factor in the ongoing developments. It highlights the need for transparency, accountability and active public engagement in foreign and domestic policy decisions. Forecasting the potential fallout from closing the Chinese embassy involves considering various scenarios and their implications for both the immediate and long-term future. These scenarios range from best-case outcomes, where diplomatic ties are restored and strengthened, to worst-case scenarios, where relations deteriorate and economic and social impacts are severe. A group of geopolitical analysts at a think tank maps out possible futures, weighing the consequences of each scenario to aid in strategic planning. These projections help policymakers and diplomats to prepare for and potentially mitigate negative outcomes while striving towards positive resolutions. They provide a framework for understanding the possible repercussions and for developing comprehensive strategies that address both the causes and the consequences of the diplomatic crisis. For the Philippines, such foresight is invaluable. It allows for better preparedness and more resilient policymaking, ensuring that the nation is equipped to handle the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Weighing the pros and cons of closing the Chinese embassy requires a synthesis of various perspectives, including diplomatic, legal, economic, and societal viewpoints. This comprehensive analysis ensures that all factors are considered before making a decision that could have far-reaching implications. Experts from diverse backgrounds gather to debate and deliberate the multifaceted issues surrounding the embassy, each contributing their unique insights to a holistic understanding. This synthesis of perspectives is crucial for making informed, balanced decisions that consider the full spectrum of impacts. It helps in identifying the most viable and beneficial path forward, ensuring that the chosen course of action serves the best interests of the nation and respects international norms. For the Philippine government, this process of synthesis is not just beneficial, but necessary for ensuring that the decision-making process is comprehensive, transparent and accountable. The question of whether closing the Chinese embassy in the Philippines is a beneficial move cannot be answered lightly. It involves deep consideration of a complex web of issues, each intertwined with the next in the fabric of national and international relations. The allegations of illegal activities associated with the embassy are serious and demand a robust response, yet the implications of such a move are far-reaching touching everything from local law enforcement to international diplomacy. The path forward requires a careful, measured approach that balances the need for immediate action against the potential long-term consequences. Dialogue, negotiation, and rigorous enforcement of laws combined with an informed understanding of the legal and diplomatic frameworks are essential components of a strategy that seeks justice and security without compromising the broader national interests. Ultimately, the decision to close the embassy must be guided by a commitment to uphold national sovereignty and public welfare while navigating the delicate nuances of international relations. It is a decision that must be made with both courage and caution, with an eye towards a future where the integrity and safety of the Philippine nation are secured and its relations with the world are managed with wisdom and foresight. In this complex dance of diplomacy and law, each step must be taken with the understanding that the world is watching and history will remember the paths chosen. As we navigate the intricate and often turbulent waters of international diplomacy and national decision-making, your voice and your perspective matter more than ever. This isn't just about embassies or diplomatic frictions. 
It's about the future of our global interactions and the impact on real lives in communities just like yours. We encourage you to dive deeper, to learn more, and to engage with these critical issues. Visit our website linked in the description below to access detailed articles, expert interviews, and in-depth analyses that shed light on the nuances of these complex situations. While there, you can also join forums and discussions where your voice can be heard and your ideas can contribute to a broader understanding and perhaps a better solution. Remember, informed discussions lead to informed decisions. So take this step, click the link, and be a part of this crucial global conversation. Your insight could be the key to shaping a more secure and just world. Join us now, because every perspective counts and together we can forge a path forward that respects both sovereignty and cooperation.